Welcome to MAP, I'm Holly and this is my college. Here's the main room where we do so many activities. Kahoot quiz, learn in different countries and around the world. My team is called Little Legs. Having lunch, playing connect four with Jamie. Sometimes we play catch. And some days we learn how to dance like Joel would go. Here Jamie just had his AQA certificates for making a meal at MAP. Making meal? Yeah. Welcome to Theo is improving his communication and Zane is learning the colours. This is the ICT room. My friend Hugh is doing some maths puzzles. Instead Jamie is listening to the story on the smart board. Someone else seems very busy practicing maths on computer. One of his favourite moments, reading time. Come on please, don't straggle. This is the art room. Zane is doing some arts and crafts. And Joel is making a card for Lily of one of the map staff. Different kinds of painting and a lot of colouring. This is the study room. Every Thursday we have a science session doing lots of experiments with Emma. And I have so much fun doing these sessions. Anna likes dancing with music on the smart board and making chocolate cupcakes. This is a group dancing session. This is the sensory room, the perfect place if I want to chill and relax. We listen to different kinds of music and staff teach Zayn and Joel how to play instruments. Here is the kitchen. Since October, every Wednesday, we do an international canteen every week a different country. We sell the food to the staff and students and this way I practice how to manage the money, how to tidy the kitchen and how to cook. That's me making a tiramisu during the Italian week, it was delicious. My friend Theo is practicing how to make a sandwich. Hugh is decorating his gingerbread men and Dane is chopping onions. This is the garden. Every Tuesday we do gardening sessions, parachute games, watering, and gymnastics. A lot of activities in the community, such as shopping, going for walks, shopping in town, visiting museums. Some students are supported at home. Sometimes we go to the gym in the park or to feed the ducks. MAP is a safe place for young people to get used to a further education placement. We run individualised learning programmes for young people who may have learning difficulties, social, emotional and mental health concerns or other additional support needs that make it difficult for them to access further education. Really we're about confidence building at MAP um, and we use our unique and individualised support to build a learning programme around what interests the young person so that they can have an understanding of what it feels like to succeed. It's about making adulthood make sense for these young people and identifying where they want to move on to. Once we've done that with them, we put in place the steps that they need to move on to their next placement because above all, MAP is a transition service helping people move towards independence. One of the greatest things about MAP is how flexible and adaptable we are. Needs change rapidly, can be on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. So that helps us to keep everything going and everything reviewed regularly. So it's not just a one way of doing things. You know, we're so uh, diverse, you know, it can be a different thing today for the same student tomorrow. And if a student wants to be out in the community, you go out in the community. If they want to be in MAP, nice cool day, and they, they do that. And that, I think, is really, really what makes MAP a very special place. I think staff have been very good at finding out exactly what it is that makes Theo tick. 
they've found things that he likes to do and they've done some sensory work with him. So there's quite a variety in his day. Yes, he seems to come home happy. Um, he goes in fairly happy. It's a nice environment because it's very homely and there's a kitchen and a garden and it's like going to another house. Um, what I've enjoyed most about this year is doing canteen on a Wednesday and learning about all different countries. Bye!